Hello everyone, I'm Insane RH and welcome back to Disney Princess Enchanted Journey. So today we're going to be meeting Ariel for the first time. And as you can see, I've given us a little bit of an appearance refresh for her journey. I didn't want us to look like the same we did in Snow White's because, you know, I felt like we needed something special. So, let's go. Now, I feel like Ariel's story is going to be like pretty easy to get through because I have played a lot of Disney Princess Enchanted Journey and Ariel was honestly always super easy to just like fly through so I don't really see it being any different than before but like I don't know maybe on the computer it'll be a little hard my tambourine won't play any sound yeah none of these instruments work anymore those nasty bog creatures put a spell on our musical instruments. Oh, what are we going to do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what it was is they lost their music. Something is very strange here. Why won't the sailors' instruments make any sound? Yes, it is strange. But maybe you can fix it. Try waving your wand. I'm sure your magic will help these sailors get their sound back. Oh, you know what I never noticed? Your wand, like the tip of it, um, is like whatever little like design fits the, the um the sailors' musical instruments. Fits the like story you're doing. So like for Ariel, you know, we've got the little like seashell thing, and so like our our wand is in the seashell shape. So that's kind of cool, actually. How do I get up there to that chest? Okay. Will that, will that help? Hurrah! My tambourine, it plays music again. Listen, it's such a lovely sound. Thank you, young lady. All right, men, here we go. <coughs> One, and a two, and a four, and an eight. Oops. I mean, uh, a one, and a two, and a three! God, love the music. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I, I don't think I did that when I played it on console. That's actually pretty cool. Guess I'll go talk to Ariel. Hey, Ariel. A human. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming to talk to me. My name's Ariel. <gasps> You're a mermaid. <laughs> That's right, a mermaid. Oh, and I'm really glad you helped those sailors get their music back. You see, that's why I came up to the surface. The sailors aren't the only ones who've lost musical sounds. All the music is gone from the kingdom I live in. Oh, do you think you could help us? I'd like to, but I don't think I can go with you underwater. Don't worry, just use your magic. It will let you breathe underwater. Wow! Then I guess I can help. I can bring the music back under the sea. Oh, thank you. Oh, everyone will be so happy. Now, come on, follow me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm more concerned with the swimming part. Am I gonna get like a tail? I don't remember. Oh, no, we're just gonna use our legs. Okay. I think you guys should be warned. I don't know how to swim. So, uh. I don't know if this is gonna be like a problem. <laughs> Cause I Ariel's really plan. Know go to the secret cave with Ariel. Also, it's a bit weird that she's like this way. That she's like a Disney princess, but she's still a mermaid. Cause like I thought at the end of the movie she was like a um she was like on land. La, 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 la. I can sing again. Thank you. This is wonderful. No, no, I got no, my no, singing no. voice back. Oh, you did you. it! I sang! 
<laughs> Leave me alone. I don't have time for your foolish games today. <clears throat> I am the king's court composer. He has sent me on a very, <laughs> very important mission. <laughs> Stop it. Let me go. Let me go. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have to help Sebastian. Sebastian was looking my favorite part of this whole story. To help free Sebastian from the Lady Octopus, okay. you'll have to press the button under each tentacle as it appears. Sebastian will grab the tentacle if you're correct. Once the meter on the top is full, the Lady Octopus will set him free. The Octopus. Help Sebastian free I remember doing octopus. this so many times, because I sucked at <laughs> getting this done. So, I mean, yeah. I, I have no question that this is going to be really bad. My hand-eye coordination is, like, terrible. I know I'm a gamer, and so I should have, oh, really good hand-eye coordination. But see, like, ugh. It is terrible. Truly. I also sort of low-key felt bad for the octopus. Because, like, you just smacking her. <laughs> I think that Lady Octopus likes you. <clears throat> yes, well, I don't have time for games. There is an urgent matter I must attend to. All of the musical sounds in the kingdom are distorted, or they are lost altogether. On top of that, strange creatures are here threatening us and the peace of our undersea world. I know. That's why I'm here. Ariel and I are trying to find out what's going on. Would you like to join us? Of course, just lead the way. Okay, one second, I got it. One second. I just want to get my la, 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 la. Oh, thank you for returning my singing voice. Yeah, out of my way. I just wanted to get my gym. I'm like really gym obsessed. I don't even know what the gyms do. I just know that I like having them. So. I'm pretty sure they do nothing. But like, I just like collecting them, so. Okay. Grotto. This is where I keep all the human treasures I've collected. We should be safe here from those creatures who've stolen the musical sounds from the whole kingdom. Oh, they've even taken the singing voices from the mer people. And not being able to sing? Well, it's making everyone so sad. Now, that's why I need your help. Now, if you could just- ah! Hey, what's that? Oh! Oh no, my collection. All oh, those creatures must be here. Oh, I don't want all my human things to fall. Okay, and now this mission, I also You can save doing. Ariel's collection if you catch each one before it reaches the ground. Sebastian will help and move the bucket back and forth for you. Yeah, you that's also really bad at. around a treasure, that one's about to drop. The meter on the top will fill up as you get closer to saving all the items. I always drop several things and then I'm like, I'm sorry, save Ariel. The souvenirs. Catch Ariel's treasures from the human world. So, also low key, Ariel has some serious kleptomania issues. Like as a simmer, I can recognize that she definitely has the kleptomania trait. Like the human treasures is kind of like a cute thing when you don't realize what it is, and it's called stealing. Um, I find it kind of horrifying that no one else has found this. Just fact disturbing. Like, and I don't know if anyone else is also freaked out by this. Oh, oh no. Okay, I thought I was about to drop that. But why does she bring back, like, old shoes? Oh, thank you, Sebastian. And thank you, too, for saving my collection. Oh, I'm really lucky to have such good friends. I'm just glad I could help. But now that the treasures are safe, I think we should find out what's causing this mess. 
Oh. Dang, I didn't expect the first chapter to be that easy. <laughs> okay, well, um, I guess I might as well do another one. Like, this is what I mean about Ariel and being super easy. Because, like, no other, like, I've literally been playing for, like, ten minutes. And I'm already done with the chapter, so. Oh, it's so good At this rate, I might actually be able to complete her entire story see. in one part. Do you think you could use your magic to help again? Which would be kind of low-key great, because then I'd only have, like, a couple princesses left. I wanted to thank you again for saving my collection. <laughs> I just love learning about the human world. So these treasures, they really help me. I'm just glad I could help. But right. now that the treasures are safe, I think we should find out what's There's causing thousands this mess. of dirty old help! shoes. Ariel! We oh. need your help! <laughs> the whole music class is on a field trip with Sebastian, but we all got separated. And Ariel, if we don't get back to the coral together, something bad could happen. Hey, don't worry. I'll help. And I'm okay. sure everyone will be okay. I'm not gonna lie, that crab is like, uh -oh. Loki, the voice I is really I promised my father I'd be home soon. And if I'm late again, he's gonna be really angry. Oh, what should I do? I'll help the student crabs, Ariel. You will? Oh, thank you. You're the best. I'm happy to do it. Besides, how could anyone turn down a cute little crab like you? I'll meet you at the coral reefs. Yeah, um, I could. Because <laughs> the nasally voice is really getting to me. Like, the crab sounds like it needs some doctor's visits. Like, low key, I, I, I think it needs medical attention. Alright, now, how am I supposed to help you guys? I really don't know how much to help Hey, Sebastian. Oh, thank goodness you are here. We got to get my star students into the coral where they'll be safe from those music-stealing menaces. Okay, so do I just, like, kill the bogs? You Is that can it? use your magic on each crab so they'll run into the coral and be safe from the bogs. As you save them, the meter on the top left will start to fill up. When it's full, oh, all no. the students <laughs> No, will low graphics flounder. Oh Take care no. Of the student crabs. Guide the young crabs to safety. Okay, that was really easy. <clears throat> Thank you, young lady. My students. They are very dear to me, and very important to the music I compose. So, thank you again for saving them. Um, help! Somebody help! The hey. bogs, they stole the singing voices from a whole village of mer people, and they're tossing the voices into this big pit. Come on, we have to hurry! Okay, guess we're going to go save some- Whoa, whoa. Don't think I don't see you, Bob. I love how I'm just like Loki, kind of like floating everywhere. Like I'm not really swimming. I'm just kind of like. Look, here they are. The bogs use magic to put the voices into those orbs, and they're throwing them off the cliff. We have to catch them before they fall into that bottomless pit. Oh no! This is the one I you always and failed. We'll have to work together and quickly. If you show Flounder which way to go, he'll catch the orbs. Just watch the bubbles. They'll appear right before an orb is dropped. Oh no. That's the sign for Flounder to move the basket underneath the Because I the will drop people's the voices the and then they'll the never get, get back. As you get closer to catching all of the orbs. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Like, oh, this is so Save bad. the voice orbs. Catch the mer people's voice orbs before they fall into the abyss. Oh, I just know this is gonna get messed up. Okay. Oh, 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 this is high stakes. Like, if I drop one of their voices, they're just literally gonna be speechless for the rest of the- Oh! For the rest of the time that, like, they're alive. I mean, like, oh, 
Okay, that one was really far away. I didn't think I was gonna make it there in time. I was like, Flounder, go! <laughs> okay, Flounder, be really careful. Like, if you break these voices, it's gonna be so bad. Okay, okay. Is that it? Oh, I kinda wanna drop one. Uh, okay. I found this <sighs> shell in the basket with the orbs. Do you know what it is? No, I've never seen it before. Oh, here comes Ariel. We can ask her. Ariel, look! You have to scream. She's right oh there. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you found it. This conch shell is very special. It belongs to my father. But how did it get here? The bogs must have taken it. I wonder why. Oh, I'm not sure. But as long as we can work together, I just know we'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Now, if we can find out why they stole the conch shell, maybe that'll help us bring the music back to the sea. Oh, another chapter complete. Dang, we're just flying through these Ariel chapters. Like, Ariel is, like, so easy. Like, I know she's set to be easy, like, because she's supposed to be, like, your first princess that you do. But, like, wow, I didn't expect that. Like, it only took me, like, five minutes to, to do that. Like, Oh, it's so wow. great that you're here. Lots of musical sounds are still missing from the sea. Do you think you could use your magic to help again? Let's get this done. Let's speed run it, guys. Okay, now this one was my least favorite mission. I do remember that. Like, out of the set. Oh, I'm glad this you're is the back. Worst. I found out why those creatures took the conch shell. They stole the sound that belongs inside it. Because this conch shell controls the music of the entire ocean. And if we don't fix it, there'll never be music in the ocean again. That's horrible. And I'm not going to let it happen. I love this place and everybody here. But how are we going to get the sound back? Oh, don't worry, Flounder. We can put some new musical sounds into it. <laughs> Sebastian is getting ready for a concert at the Lagoon right now. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's go. Okay, are they gonna, like, put me in the Lagoon, though? Because I don't know how to get from the sea to the Lagoon. Meet with Sebastian. Find Sebastian okay. at the lagoon. Um, do you guys have like instructions on how to get there? Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna hope I know which way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Come on, give me some, some instruction here. I need instructions. Okay. Oh, we couldn't have done it without you. Okay. Isn't that a little dangerous for butterflies to be released into the, uh, oh, into the water? That seems like it would, like, like low-key kill them, but... Maybe I'm just being too. You should go see Sebastian. He's at the other Wait. end of the lagoon. Uh, you don't. You don't have your voice, do you? There you go. One second. Do you Pixie. know where the school of little crabs went? I'm trying to like help people. Um, my way. Thank you for helping me do what I. Yeah, I don't care, dude. I gotta, I gotta go. You're welcome for getting your voice back. Okay. Gotta go get to Sebastian. Get people out of my way. Out of my way. I am here to save the day. Come on. We gotta get moving. Sure is a nice day. You should go see Sebastian. He's at the other end of the lagoon. Yeah, you've said that a few times. I just want to get my gyms. And we're running on land again. Running on land again. Running on land again. 
you know how to fix this old guy. Okay, come here. I have the conch shell, Sebastian. But how do we put the sound back? With one of my new compositions, I'm gonna remind this shale what beautiful music sounds like. But first, I got to make sure everyone is in tune. To help Sebastian tune the band, you'll have to quickly oh. tap the button you see on screen. By pressing the button really fast, the bar is set <coughs> to fill up. Once the bar is filled, oh God, that's everyone so funny. will be in tune. I laugh so hard I choked on my own slava. Tune up the band. Tap a button to help the chorus get in tune. Okay, let's let's, let's help these ducks. Okay. Okay. Froggies. Okay, and the turtles. The turtles. Good, very okay. good. Now that we are all in tune, it is time to begin the concert. The singers are ready, but you'll have to help Sebastian guide them. Yeah, it's pretty that's what I easy. Thought. Kind of like Simon says. Okay. Just watch for the musical notes, and they'll show you which keys to press. If you see musical notes coming from the ducks, press the left shift key. If you see notes coming from the ducks and then the frogs. Press the left shift key and then the Z key. Watch the pattern carefully. Once you've successfully repeated five patterns, the conch shell will be restored. The conch shell. Five? Uh, I don't want to have to do song. five patterns. We're on a speed run, guys. Okay. Let's do this. I'm playing with one. Round three. Duckies, froggies. Are we gonna get some turtle action in here? Like I tuned them and everything. Come on, let the turtle sing. Let the turtle sing. Free the turtles. The ducks are hogging the show. Okay, one more, one more round. We go duckies, we go turtles, we go froggies. Okay, so duckies, turtles, frogs. That was magnificent! One of the finest concerts I have played in years. I mean, I thought it's I was actually the kind of hideous, music but... that only comes when you put all your heart into it. Music once again, it makes my heart swim. Aww. Wow, that was so cool. You were great, Sebastian. And so were you. <laughs> Thank you for all your help. Oh, now that we have our music back, oh, I know everyone in the ocean will be happy again. I'm afraid it's time to go. There's more work for us to do. Okay. But I'm gonna miss everyone so much. Well, you'll come and visit us again, won't you? Of course. Ah, uh, I don't know how busy I am. Together in my car. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> See you soon. Like, um, if I'm super busy doing like Cinderella and like Jazzy, <laughs> I might not be able to come. But I'll try. <laughs> I'll try to come. All right, and we get our cutscene. Yeah. Yay, Ariel. So Ariel's done now. 
And Snow White's done. So the only ones we have left, after we unlock her, um, is Cinderella and Snow White. Now, wait, did I just say Snow White? I mean Jasmine. Jasmine, I remember enjoying hers a lot, but I can't remember like literally anything about Cinderella's, so I'll probably do this one next. I suppose? Like, yeah. Cause she's, she's like next in the row. And Jasmine, I think, is the car. So I'll do her last. Yeah. So I will see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. And if you really liked the video, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't forget to watch any of my later Disney Princess and Change Journey videos or anything else that I post. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!